AFK fishing farms, the most ridiculous way to get useful loot like name tags and mending books for very little effort and resources. Love them or hate them, they are extremely popular and so with each update I have brought you a video and new design of the farm. This time however, it's the exact same design as last time made by Warben. So then, why make this video? Well, first of all people will search for it of course. But this time, I have something fantastic for you to use. What you are looking at right now is actually all taking place on my computer. The world is being run from here and I have multiple accounts connected to this world doing AFK fishing. And in theory, I could connect even more. Now this is because we have developed a clicker that works in Minecraft when you are doing other things on your computer, like recording this video for example. Now of course you don't need to use an auto clicker for this farm, the designer will show you will work without one, but with this new auto clicker we've got, you can achieve things like this. What you're looking at is all of it running on my system right now. I can alt and tab, these are the clickers right here, this is OBS currently recording, and that's everything that's going on on my computer. So I can actually switch to each of these individual uh, fishing accounts and I can switch all the way back to this account that is overlooking all of them and because we have three clickers running at the moment it means that I can have three of them on my computer at the same time it is absolutely bonkers now when it comes to auto clicking if you suggest to use a clicker people will comment telling you you should have just unplugged your mouse if you tell them the unplug the mouse trick they will tell you you should have used the clicker and some people are big fans of putting a weight on the click key, apparently. But none of them can do what this does. Allow you to be inside of the game, clicking away, and then just alt and tab out and start using your computer for something else. Like editing this very video. Yeah, that's me editing the video right now that you are watching. There's a lot of, like, Inception in this video, isn't there? But the point is, I've just edited this clip into the video, and the entire time, I was still fishing. How amazing is that? That is some productivity right there. So that's the point of this video, to show you this amazing clicker, which is still in development, so there may be interface changes and more features to come in the future. It also has support for AFK mob farming. That's where you have food in your offhand and you attack with your sword over and over again and it'll automatically eat for you if ever your hunger starts to run down. It also supports making concrete as well, so you can put concrete powder in your offhand and then you have your pick in your main hand. The other thing it supports as well is jump flying. This will allow you to press Ctrl or an E and it will automatically run a script to get you off the ground. And this can simply make life a lot easier when you're trying to fly on a multiplayer server. But before we get into how to use the clicker, I want to show you how to build this farm and then how to use it. First of all, if you want to expand the storage of the farm like that over there, you simply put the chests below the main chest and hoppers pointing into them below the hopper that will go in this space. What you need to build this farm is the contents of this chest. So everything right here is what you need. And we've already placed down those two chests and then we put a hopper pointing into the side of it. Now we break the block behind that, put a fence post here so that when we waterlog it, the water flows to the lowest point. And then on top of here, you're gonna put your weighted pressure plate. Now one of the things I've noticed in 1.15 is sometimes the water gets updated by the pressure plate. So put a couple of blocks on either side like this, it's what I did over there, and that'll stop the water from flowing out the side. Now what we do is we take our note block, we put it over here, we put a temporary block on top of it, and in front of it an iron trap door. And if you want this thing here to make sounds, then you remove your temporary block, and when you use it it will make sound, otherwise leave that temporary block there and it won't make lots of noise. So to use the farm, you grab your fishing rods and you just aim at the front of the trapdoor right here so that when you right click, you see the note block behind it. And then all you got to do is hold down right click and you're forever fishing. So the contraption will reset every time you successfully fish and that's how it becomes an AFK fish farm. I would also like to mention that the loot tables didn't change between 1.14 and 15, so there's no new blocks or items or anything changed that you can get from this farm. It's the same as it was in the previous update. So now let's look at how to use the clicker. When you run the exe file, you're going to see this appear, and it gives you the instruction of selecting the Minecraft window and pressing Ctrl or and W. So now we're in the Minecraft window, I'm pressing Ctrl and W, and then the clicker pops up in front of us. 
And then what you want to do is go to options and select the mode that you want to use. We're of course here to use the fishing mode. So we click on that and then we have an optional slider here that changes the timing at which the thing operates but just leave it on the default for now. The instructions above will show you can press Ctrl Alt and F to start fishing and Ctrl Alt and S to stop fishing. So let's go back into the game. Let's aim our fisher right here. Hold down right click and then I'm going to let go and press Ctrl Alt and F and now my hands are free and I can start doing other things on the computer. So as you can see I'm now in this window. I could be doing anything on the computer right now and behind us the clicker is running inside the Minecraft game. And of course if you want to stop you then just press Ctrl Alt and S and immediately it will stop. Now there is a problem you might run into. You Alt and Tab out of the game and then the pause menu comes up. If this happens to you what you need to do is press F3 and P inside of the game and you can see there in the bottom left pause on lost focus disabled. This means when you Alt and Tab out of the game you're not going to bring up the escape menu. Now if you want to download the clicker there's a link in the description box down below. It takes you to my website and on here you can find the link at this spot below the image. The old clicker that I showed last time is still available but of course I'm going to recommend you use this one. And if you were planning on running free fishing farms at once I may disappoint you by saying it's not officially supported yet so if you figure out how you can run multiple ones of these on your system at once then do it at your own risk and maybe in the future that feature will be officially supported. And that my friends concludes this video. If you have enjoyed it then please make sure to leave a like and support the video. Share it with your friends if you know anyone who would like this farm or this clicker and of course subscribe to the channel for more 1.15 related content. Anyway that's it from me. I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye bye.